Let's play with the Polygon tool in Photoshop CS6. Gonna right click the shape and choose the Polygon tool. Now the interesting thing about Polygon tool is you can choose a solid fill color. If I choose green for example, and you can choose a stroke, you can change it to even a, a gradient, so I can even choose this orange gradient, double click that, click OK, and you can choose how many sides the polygon has. It doesn't have to be a hexagon. I can choose eight sides, eight sides and make this into an octagon. You can see there's eight sides. Control Alt Z. We can even choose three sides. So a polygon with three sides is a triangle. You can even press Control T to transform this and you can stretch it out and retain its uh, nice uh, crisp graphics without things getting fuzzy. Press enter to apply your transformation and we can even choose the direct selection tool and we'll use path selection tool. So once we use the uh, direct selection tool, click on your the edge of your triangle, you should see some nice nodes here and try holding down the control key when you hold down the control key, you should uh, eventually be able to move one of these nodes. And now when I click on another node, I can actually move it around freely. I can click on another node and move it around freely. This is useful for tweaking shapes. In fact, if I use the pen tool, I can also move nodes around. So very similarly, I can hold down the control key and move nodes around. You can see there's even a minus sign there which gets rid of this node, but I'm not going to do that with only three shapes. I'm going to try even pressing the Alt button. If you Alt to left click, you can even bend, bend out and get, you can kind of uh, curve sharp corners. It's kind of very interesting what you can do here. If I hold down the Alt button here, I can somehow smooth out this uh, corner and we have a very interesting shape. So I'll press Control T once again just to show that you that I can transform it just the way I want. Press Enter to apply your transformation. And it's interesting to note that the moment you actually create a new layer, you don't see the actual path going around here. So then you can continue working. Now let's start playing with uh, the custom shape tool. So let's uh, delete this layer here and choose the custom shape tool. And when you drag out a custom shape, we have an arrow. Where did this come from? It came from up here. If you hit the little drop down box, you can actually choose many different custom shapes. and. Uh, you can even load some shapes, but for now we'll just choose this uh, built-in one. It looks like a blob, so let me just uh, click out of here and press Control alt z The shape is also depends on the fill, so I'll just change the fill color to a nice uh, blue gradient. So I'm going to click on this middle gradient, drag it out. I'll just double click on this bottom gradient here and I'll just choose blue. So I'll just choose from dark blue, OK, all the way to double click. Just choose a lighter blue. How's, how's that? Click OK. You can even drag these around. We talked about gradients in the past. So I'm going to choose a nice shape that looks like a blob. Double click. And let's drag out a nice blob here. OK, this is very interesting. Now. Let's go see what happened to our blue color. Go to the fill. Let's just fix this up here. We had it as a lighter blue, so let's leave it as follows. And this looks quite interesting. We have a nice blob. Looks like we're using a linear gradient here with a certain angle. Let's uh, finish off this uh, little fun challenge by double clicking the layer here, going to layer style and we'll just uh, try adding a nice bevel emboss. Click in the middle here and we can just uh, 
increase the the size here if we just increase it quite large largely it looks very interesting how it's very smooth and I like smooth blobs it looks like a blob of of ink or something we don't want to choose the uh, chisel hard option it'll look quite strange so we'll just leave it smooth and we can even add a nice uh, drop shadow so here I will create a drop shadow and you can see there's a little shadow here you can even increase the size of the shadow so here this is the how large the shadow is we we'll just choose a setting of 13 and we can change the distance as well to 13 and we also choose the spread to 13 so it's fun to play around with these settings and create some different effects but hopefully through this video your eyes have been open to the possibilities of the polygon tool as well as the custom shape tool